Yo, what is going on, you guys? It's your boy King Sanders here, and we are back with another day of sports betting. This is going to be for Saturday, January 8th, slated games. Um, first, let's go ahead and do a quick recap. As of yesterday, we did end up going 3 and 1, so another very successful day for us. We did have Zach Levine over 24 and a half points. That one was a little bit of a sweat just because the coach kind of took him out, didn't play him for most of the fourth quarter, um, and he was right at 23, but then luckily he did get a bucket here for us. Then we also, so that one cashed. So that, um, we also had the Thunder plus five versus Minnesota. I don't know why I thought that that would have been a good bet. Um, the Thunder are typically a good team at home, um, and they uh, didn't show that at all against Minnesota. So tough loss for us there. Then we had Cavs minus four versus Portland. That one did end up cashing for us. And then we also had Joel Embiid over 29 and a half points versus the San Antonio Spurs. And that one was an absolute sweat. He had... 28 points and then shot a or he had two free throws and made one missed one and then the coach took him out they were up by 17 um and it looked like he was going to be he was going to be sat for the rest of the game but then the spurs started to fight back they started to come back brought it within single digits and they put him they put him back in and he scored right away no problem so that is our quick recap. Um, first, I did just want to go ahead and say I know that I commented on a lot of people's things yesterday, or like a lot of people's comments about the subscriber parlay giveaway. I am doing a subscriber parlay giveaway. It's just not going to be until tomorrow, so as of Sunday. And the reason being, hold on really quick, the reason why it's as of tomorrow is because at the time that I'm recording this video, it's about midnight, and there's not very many lines up. And on top of that, there's no player specials at all. Obviously, if you're going for an $1,000 parlay, if you don't want to spend like $100 on one or $150 or anything like that, then you have to do player specials that have plus odds. And unfortunately, there's not very many of those out right now. So um, because of that, oh, and I do have to get up pretty early for work tomorrow. So... I'm going to wait for tomorrow because tomorrow I'll be able to stay up as late as I want. Um, like I won't have anything to do on Sunday. I have Sundays off, so I'll be able to cook up something absolutely crazy as of tomorrow. And so I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of research tomorrow, going to be getting things ready, and I'm super excited to dive into it. So that is coming tomorrow. Um, all that you will have to do as of tomorrow Actually, I'll just save it. I'll save it for tomorrow. It's going to be super easy to enter. Um, it's just going to be a comment down below, and it's going to just have a keyword in it. That's all. But anyway, I'm going to quit rambling. Um, we had a really good day yesterday. We're going to try to have a really great day today. I think that we can do it. I think we have a pretty good shot at a clean sweep today, to be completely honest. So I really like our plays. We're going to go ahead and hop straight into it. So our first play of the day is going to be Memphis Grizzlies minus one versus the Los Angeles Clippers minus 110 odds. We've been hammering this here for a while. Memphis, as a road team, they are 13-5 and five against the spread, so very, very good against the spread. The Clippers, on the other hand, not necessarily the best home team. They are 9-14 and 14 against the spread as a home team, so they just don't really show up too well in L.A. And the Grizzlies, they've been on a tear as of recently. They have covered in their last four games. And like I said, the Clippers, on the other hand, they have not covered or they um, have not covered in back-to-back -back games. So their last two games, they have not covered in. So unfortunately, the uh, Clips haven't been looking too great as of recently, especially with no Paul George um, and some other players that they are missing. And the Memphis Grizzlies have been looking really good. So I think minus one is just a little bit too low. So that's our first play of the day. Memphis Grizzlies minus one versus the Los Angeles Clippers, minus 110 odds. Our next play of the day is going to be Orlando in Detroit. Over 210.5 points, minus 110 odds. I know, I know. Before I start getting any comments about, you know, this sounds crazy, please hear me out for a second, okay? Both of these two teams on defense are absolutely atrocious. Orlando is 25th in defense, so they are literally 5th from last. And then Detroit, they're 24th. So both, these two, both of these two teams are are absolutely atrocious on defense completely completely awful and I don't think there's going to I think there's gonna be a lot of offense because of how bad these defenses are magic in their last five games have went over their line in four of them so they have actually 
been scoring the basketball at a high rate, and they've been allowing their other team to score the basketball at a pretty high rate as well. Detroit, they've actually seen a little bit of success in the over category as well. Not nearly as much, but they have gone over in four of their last seven games, so pretty decent. And then um, the Detroit Pistons have only been favored twice this entire year, and as of right now, they are two-point favorites. Detroit has only been favored twice this year, and they have went over whatever their line was in both games. So that is going to be our second play of the day. Um, I, I think that there's just going to be a lot of offense in this game, not a lot of defense. So that's our second play of the day. Orlando Magic and Detroit Pistons over 210.5 points, minus 110 odds. Our third play is going to be Julius Randle over 21.5 points, minus 110 odds. Julius Randle has been really solid as of recently. He's cashed this exact line in four of his last six games. Um, and then the Celtics, when it comes to the power forward position, they're not necessarily the best on defense. They actually gave up the sixth most points per game to opposing power forwards. And when it comes to Boston, uh, Julius Randle historically has been pretty good against them. He has hit this exact line in four of his last seven games versus Boston. So a pretty profitable margin if you were to take it every time. Um, you would be winning a little bit of money there. So that is going to be our third play of the day. Julius Randle over 21.5 points, minus 110 odds. And then our fourth and final play is going to be the man, the myth, the legend, Devin Booker, over 24.5 points versus Miami Heat, minus 110 odds. Now, I know that normally we always take unders whenever it's people that are playing against the Heat, but hear me out for a second. The Heat... So Devin Booker is in a, in a fantastic um, bounce back game. As of last game, Devin Booker shot 5 of 22. So extremely, extremely awful. Um, and he shot like, I think it was like 22%, I believe. So he shot 5 of 22 against the Clippers. And he just played completely atrocious. He, he, I mean, there's no, no other way around it. He played awful. So I think this is a fantastic spot for him to bounce back. And in the last three games, Miami has kind of let up on defense. They are actually the 13th worst defense. So they're they're like middle of the pack or maybe a little bit below below average, which for um, you know, which for the Heat is actually kind of bad. So and then on top of that, the, when it comes to the shooting guard position, they don't necessarily they're not necessarily the best. They actually give up the fourth most points per game to opposing shooting guards in the NBA. So um, I do think that we do have a little bit of value here with this play. Devin Booker, over 24.5 points versus Miami, minus 110 odds. So if you guys are new, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so you guys know whenever I post. The 1,000 subscriber parlay giveaway is coming tomorrow. I promise on everything. It's coming tomorrow. Um, I just want to make sure that I have a very solid and good bet for you guys. I don't want to force anything. And on top of that... Like, if I were to do it right now with minus 110, I would have to have, like, 10 or 15 legs. Like, it would have to be absolutely insane unless if I wanted to put, like, $100 down on it. And odds are, it'll, it probably won't cash. So, I really don't want to do that. So, these are going to be our four plays. Make sure you guys are subs so you guys have a chance at the subscriber giveaway as of tomorrow. But for now, this is King Center signing out. Peace.